Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our backyard. This morning, I wanted to talk about Mexican flame vine. And this vine has um, grown very beautifully for us. And I wanted to give a very, um, I wanted to give an update on this because I've had a few questions lately about uh, Mexican flame vine. So I purchased uh, the Mexican flame, flame vine from my favorite nursery and I planted it in a large pot this spring. And it wasn't a, a you know, a large plant. It was in a gallon size container. And you can see how nice and thick these vines have gotten. And I have pruned it. So I do want to say it has gone through, in the spring, it went through two complete flushes and the whole vine was covered with gorgeous blooms. But as it continues to grow, it certainly grows upward. And this is a vine that um, they say can get from 10 to 20 feet tall. Our fence is six and a half feet tall and it is just pushing quite a bit of new growth recently. And you can see it's easily um, seven and a half feet to eight feet tall. It will meander and, and come down. Um, it can trail. The reason I wanted to do an update is because I don't believe I've pruned it properly. Um, and I haven't cut it back. So I do want to get in closer to the vine to show you how it is growing. So it's pushing a lot of new growth. And I love it because I do believe I'm going to be getting um, quite a few new blooms here. At least that's what my hope is this fall. But what I do want to show you is what happens um, after you deadhead. So I come out and I don't have a bloom on here to show you, but when I deadhead, so when the blooms were on here, I would deadhead just the bloom stalk. And what I've noticed is the vine that produced it. So the stem that produced the flowers will die back and the leaves get to be like a purple color first. Let me come in here. They get to be this color first and then they wither and die back. So I do believe I have not pruned the plant correctly. I do know it can cut, be cut back very extensively um, and that will also push new growth. You can see up at the tips it's going to be um, there's lots of new growth right now, and I believe I will be getting a huge flush of blooms here um, in the fall. I have mentioned that in Texas we've had a, a pretty severe heat dome, and it's broken records for heat for us. Um, and the Mexican flame vine held its own, but it never flowered all summer long, and so I do not believe it did well in the um, 100 degree plus heat. I do have it on drip irrigation, so it certainly had enough water, um, but it just didn't push new growth really or blooms. Now that our nights are getting into the mid 70s um, and we'll be getting low 70s here, it will, um, it will be I believe flushing out with blooms because I just see an incredible amount of growth. So I did want to um, show you what my vine looked like. I'm also going to show you what I propagated. So interestingly, this spring, uh, probably in May, I broke off um, a piece of the vine and I put the stem in water and it grew 
roots beautifully and quickly, kind of like a milkweed does or a coleus does. And so I um, let it grow the roots and then I planted it in this small pot. And I have been um, just letting it grow over the summer. Now granted, it's been really hot and so it's it didn't really do a whole lot until just recently and you notice it's starting to push out um, you'll see it's pushing out new vines here it did down at the base here and is pushing out growth um, there's another one oops right here that you can see that it's pushing out and so this is really starting um, to grow and I did want to just show you how easy it is to propagate these <laughs> vines. And so for those of you in warmer climates, I mean in, in colder climates, um, you can easily take cuttings and um, bring them inside. So I did want to show this just because it was so easy, um, easy to root and plant it up beautifully. I am going to link up at the top and also in the description of the short video that I did earlier of this so you can see the beautiful orange blooms on it. The blooms do look like somewhat like Tithonia, um, but they are not. This is a completely separate plant. And just in the last week, I can't believe the growth that it's pushed out because it is way over here in front of my bandavia vine um, whereas they've been separate um, very easily separate it is um, a pretty much a pest free vine and if we had not had our really tough summer this year I do believe I could have um, pushed more blooms on it I just didn't push blooms on any of my plants over the summer just because it was such a brutal summer for us. But as you can see, I do have this trellis. So I'm going to come around the back. And it grows very beautifully and twines itself. Um, and you see I do have it secured on a trellis here and it just grows up nicely. Um, the only thing that I haven't perfected is how to deadhead it yet and how much to deadhead. So that's where, that's where I'm at. And the point being is when I see these leaves and it's not pushing new growth, it seems like I would cut the vine back to um, where its growth point is, but I'm not sure because, take a look at this. This vine here, oops, sorry about that. This vine, this peat part of the vine also has dead leaves, but it's pushed new growth here. See, and it's dead or dying leaves all along here. But now the new growth it's pushing is wonderful. So right now how I've deadheaded is I've only deadheaded the flowers back to the stem um, where the flower was blooming. And I don't know if that's correct or not. I don't know how much of the vine I should be taking back. But in any case, <laughs> I will experiment and see um, what will be most successful here in my 9A growing zone. I can tell you that I have read the first year it is fairly slow going and I do believe the plant that I purchased in the gallon nursery pot because it was already flowering, had already gone through that initial slow growth spurt. Because I can tell you the one that I rooted, it's been growing, it grew pretty slowly um, 
easily May, June, July, August, you know, for four months. And now it's just starting to push um, some new growth. So anyway, I did want to give a quick update and show you that even though my Mexican flame vine did not flower over the summer, I do believe it was because of our harsh summer conditions of excessive heat. But now it is starting to push new growth. It looks really healthy. Um, a lot of new vines are being pushed out. And I hope we'll see new blooms here shortly. I'm curious to find out if any of you also in the south that had these really hot, hot growing conditions, if your Mexican flame vine also didn't flower well. Put that in the comments. I'd be curious to know. Well, I hope you all have a great day today. Thanks for joining me. And I hope to see you soon.